Bro, I almost wish I didn't buy that dial. <laughs> now that I got yeah, 30 of them coming tomorrow, I'd have paid 20 bro, bucks over. I know, some dude just threw it up in RWB and I was like, fuck it. I mean, dude, what do I have to lose? I still play maybe two, three day gel styles, but then like all the rest for them, you'll make all your money back. Anyway. I'll probably, I'm gonna go through them. I'll probably keep like, I don't know, maybe 10 of them or something. I'll keep like 36s and like a couple 26s, like whatever the nicer ones are that I could use the. $20 a pop. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's actually insane. When they come in like tomorrow or something? Yeah. Yeah, this one looks nice. We can run over there then. This thing's clean. It looks a little bit small. Huh. It? It's 36, it's supposed to be. Like, it looks small. I don't know. Maybe I'm blind. I don't know. It looks fine to me. No, it looks... I don't know. There's only one way to find out. <laughs> <laughs> Show up and it doesn't fit. Wouldn't be the first time that happened. Who <laughs> did Dude, this one? Here, look at these. Bro, this one is clean. Look at, look at this. Oh, yeah, that one. No holes, case. Plastic quick. Yeah, cheap, cheap. And then this one's just a 1601 Sigma. This one a, you know what serial this happens to be? 9.5. Nine and a half. So I think it's 86. I don't remember. Someone was asking me about a specific year. It's like I think it was like '89 or something. No, but yeah, he wanted '89. The one I had was '85. And then that guy, no, he wanted yeah, like that one's an '86. A couple years short. You get a lot of day just in them. Yeah. The, the, the other one, I know, right? <laughs> I mean, they sell good. So yeah, I'm like, why not? The other one. The other one, it's the same boiler dial when I had. That one's nice. Where is it? It's, I just left it there yesterday when I had her pull the dial. Cause yeah, I'm like, what am I gonna do with it? Face yeah, I'm like, I'll just leave it here and I'll bring you the dial tomorrow. Yeah. This one needs a little Viagra. I know, it's a little <laughs> This one's got a nicer brace on it. The 16 G3. Mm -hmm. I think the dial is just kind of worn. It's got spotting and like part of the. That's I think it said. Though. I think it said like I think part on the day just it like looks like it smudged or faded yeah. or something. It winds pretty good though. It runs good. The bracelet's like so so. I mean, it could be worse though. You see that rusted out, <laughs> the rusted ladies one? No. That picture I sent? No. Look at this one. Oh, shit. in the group chat, yeah. Yeah. That so, whose was that? My friends. Ouch. Oof. Bro, what happened? He left, washed? Left the crown open, I guess. Like, wasn't quite closed all the way, and moisture got in, and it was all over from there. All right, guys. So, one very important thing. Make sure your crown is always closed if you're not winding it. I sold this watch, this woman's date just a while back. It's an older model, um, and I just took it back in to get it serviced. They left the crown open and some moisture got inside and the whole movement's completely rusted. We'll insert a picture here, but um, it's gonna be a costly expense now. So just make sure that you always leave your, your crown closed all the way. Yeah, that's gonna be expensive. It literally won't wind at all. It's It'll, you, 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 yeah, you can un you can unscrew the crown and that's it. Like it's completely stuck. I'm like, <sighs> what's up? What are you doing? I'm just going to get a dial swap real quick. Um, I'm, where I'm sending I'm sending the call to do that too for me. Uh, yeah, I got to get one swapped on a day just. Um, did you do you figure out if you're gonna go that next week? Um, I don't know. I might. My friend told me he'll pay my seven fifty if I come there. <laughs> he'll pay your seven fifty. That's what they'll charge. They'll charge me seven fifty. Make it like a a buyer's bitch. Yeah. You know, because I usually do the show. And I just don't know if I want to go, but I probably will. Yeah. 
I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with Chris to the little show on Saturday. The one on uh, in the Elks Lodge. Yeah, in Seminole in the Elks. Yeah, I'm gonna go to that too. Like hold on, hold on one second. I'm gonna be on hold for like ten minutes. It has cats. It's got dogs too. It's got a muffler. Hey. Yes, sir. I was just calling you back from earlier. Yeah, no, it kind of got screwed up. What's going on today? Mm, not too much. Um, I was just mainly seeing if you figured out if you were going yet next week. Do you want to get this back? What? Did you do any business? Uh, I gotta go pick up a Wimbledon tonight, and then I'm buying a that black stick they just I told you about the other day. I'm buying that today too. Yeah. Just waiting for her to call me, but I'm buying that too, and then uh, I don't know. That's it for now. I agree. I just had to get a dial swapped on a date just, but nothing crazy. Who I've, did the dollar spot? Anna. Uh, no, I don't go down there. That's too far. Quack. Fucking, I sold, yeah. I had a, I had a boiler dial. You know what that is? Oh, yeah, you tell me. How much did you charge to change the dial? <laughs> I paid, a, I, he, he paid me $1,100 for the dial. That's cool. How much did you charge you to change it? Like 50 bucks. That's cool. And, yeah. Ow. But I was like, whatever. Um, well, I guess just let me know when you figure out if you're gonna go or not. I'm probably, I'll probably go. Yeah, I'll we'll let see. you know. And then you said you're going on Saturday. Yeah, I'm gonna go Saturday for sure. All right. What time are you picking that up at? Uh, once I'm done at the office for the day, I'll go drive down there. Probably go down to like five right. or six. You gotta go far. Yeah, I'm gonna go drive down there and pick it up. Where's it at? Sarasota. Oh, ain't that bad. Nah, not really. I thought you meant Naples or something. I was just like, fuck, hell no. Buddy. Hell no, I would just sign a label for that. I would not drive that far. All right, well, I guess we, we'll try, let's try and figure out if we're going to go next week, like today or tomorrow or something, sometime before. I want to go to the one on Saturday for sure, I think. I'm, I, I'm down for that one. It's in, I looked it up. It starts at like 8. 8 in the morning? Yeah, and we should get there like, fuck. right, we should get there like a couple minutes before it opens so that we can like get first shot at everything. Yeah, well, I get All it. Right, there's a, yeah, we can go. I'll go to that one. I'll figure it out. All right. There's a like I'll a watch and coin show seven thing. Seven o'clock, whatever. At the Elks, at like an Elks Lodge in Clearwater. Saturday. Saturday? What's yeah. That? Like eight in the morning. It's from like eight to noon or something. I'm gonna go and see if we can find anything. <laughs> yeah. I'm not doing anything. I'll pull through. Yeah. All right. Well, I'll go work on some shit. I'll try to get that date just and some other shit. I'll let you know. All right. Sounds good. Yeah. So. Um, can I give you this woman's day just to give to your guy to fix with the rust? Yeah, I'm gonna send all this. Yeah, give it to me because I'm sending the shit out on Monday. Okay. I can, uh, I'll probably just drop it off your house tonight or something. Okay. Um, do you happen to have any idea what, how much it would roughly cost? I have no idea because it's an old one. Yeah. I'll let you know once they look at it. Alright. Just let them know that it's a four digit. It's a 6917. Yeah, I know. That's where the difficulty might come in. Yeah, exactly. That's kind of what I figured. 